Hello students, today I want to welcome you to another math lesson for PSC. And today's lesson we want to deal with this problem. Mr. Burns just bought a piece of land in the shape of a right angle triangle. He wants to fence his land to use for pasture. As shown in the diagram below, he wants to construct a barbed wire fence with posts that are 10 feet apart and with three rows of wire. Then, as you can see, here is a triangle land, 400 feet, 300 feet, question mark for the side of the triangle. Then you have the 10 feet, which is the post apart. We want to go straight into today's lesson. A says, how many posts will Mr. Burns need to fence around the entire property? So that's the first thing we want to do for A. So the first thing we want to do is to find the size of the measurement of the entire land. When it comes to triangle, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. So it's A squared plus B squared, which will equal to C squared. So that's how we're going to find that missing length of the triangle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And remember, in a problem like this, A and B squared will be given to us in order for us to find C squared. So A squared is 400 squared plus B squared is 300 squared. And that will equal to C squared that we're looking for, which is the missing length of this triangle. So to continue 400 squared, remember, is not 400 times 2, but it's 400 times 400 plus 300 square which is 300 times 300 which will equal to c square all right so let's multiply and to continue we multiply the 400 by 400 which is a square and to do that it's 4 times 4 which is 16 and we carry over our four zeros, two from here and two from here. So 400 times 400 is 160,000 feet for A square plus the B square, which is 300 times 300. Three times three is nine and carry over my four zeros. So 160,000 for A square plus B square, which is is 90,000 which will equal to C square which is when we add 160,000 plus 90,000 that gives us 250,000 so 250,000 is C square but remember we want to square that 250 so let's continue it so to square, find a square root of 250,000. And the easy way to find a square root of a number is to find out what number can we multiply by itself in order for us to get that answer. So in order for us to get C square, where we find a square root of 250,000, it's 500. Why? Because when I multiply 500 times 500, that should give me 250,000. And let's try it over here. 500 times 500. 5 times 5 is 25. And I carry over my two zeros from here and my two zeros from here. So it's 200 and 50,000. So the first part of the problem is 500 feet. So that's the missing part that is missing from here, 500 feet. And we needed that in order for us to continue the problem. So again, the first thing we did for A, because A asked us how many posts will Mr. Burns need to fence around the entire property? And this triangle was the property but they had a missing length but they gave us a which is 400 feet 
and B square, which is 300 feet. And whenever you want to find a missing length of a angle, you use the Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equals C square. We know that A square was 400 feet square. B square was 300 feet square. And that's equal to C square. And 400 square is 400 times 400, which is 160,000 feet square. Plus B square, which is 300 times 300, which is 90,000 feet square. And then the answer, when we add both of them together, it gives us 250,000. And when we find the square root for 250,000, which is C square, the square root of 250,000 is 500. When we multiply 500 times 500, it's 250,000. So the square root of 250,000 is 500. So the C square that was missing is 500 feet. And to continue the problem for B, B says, how much wire in feet should Mr. Burns buy to complete fence around the entire property as described above? So now, since we know the entire perimeter or length of the property, we know 400 feet, 500 feet, 300 feet. To solve B, what we need to do is add them up because remember it asks, how much wire in feet should Mr. Burns buy to complete the fence around the entire property as described above? So we could add 400 feet plus... 300 feet plus the 500 feet and when we add that up it's equal to 1200 feet so this entire land is measured 1200 feet then we're going to divide it by 10 feet why 10 feet because remember it says in the problem he wants to construct a barbed wire fence with posts that are 10 feet. So how many 10 feet can he use in order for him to fence the entire land? So it's 10 divided into 1,200 and 1 times 10 is 10. So we're going to minus and 10 minus 12 is 2. 10 cannot go into 2 so we bring down the 0. 10 could go into 20 perfectly 2 times and 10 times 2 is 20. Gives us 0 and we carry up the zero so it will take 120 posts to fence the entire land and remember he wants to construct a barbed wire fence with posts that are 10 feet apart and with three rows of wire so the final part that we want to do now since we know that the entire land so c we just want to find how many feet of wire at three feet he needs in order for him to fence the entire land so we know it's 120 posts to fence the entire land but to find how many barbed wire, we know that the entire land is measure 1,200 feet. Because we know the entire land is measure 1,200 feet for the perimeter, or what we're going to do is to multiply now by 3, since it says that you want to, so you want to find how many 3 rows of wire in order for it to take to fence the entire property. So remember... The entire land is measured 1,200 feet and the size of the rows of wire, it needs three rows. So 1,200 times 3, which is 3 times 12, which is 36 and carry over my two zeros in order for him to fence the entire property. And that's it for today's lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos and lessons that will be posted.